Hello everybody, Scott373 here. I know it's been a while since I've made another video. I usually don't get too much time to do them. Um, I try to do one about once a month. Um, it's about 11.42, well about 15 till um, midnight. And uh, here in the Midwest, and it's very cold, I hate it. And uh, I've got sitting here with drafty windows. Gonna have to talk to somebody about getting those replaced pretty soon. Um, <coughs> well, there's a couple of other things around here. Uh, anyway, I uh, just want to take a um, minute to kind of chime in about this whole thing with Guitar Center. Uh, their bond rating is now, what is it, a negative triple C or something like that. And it's not very good. Um, you know, I agree with Philip McNutt, though. I don't think they're going to shut down. I see somebody buying them out before... Um, before anything, oh come on, come into focus, you stupid camera. There you go. Um, somebody will buy them out probably before they shut down completely. Um, I don't foresee. You know, I, I, I would say that somebody like Sweetwater would buy them out before they, you know, completely close their doors. It's just a matter of time before they file bankruptcy, so that way somebody can get them for, you know, pennies on the dollar. Sorry about this big halo thing back here that's not another dimension that's just bad lighting this room stinks for it and this camera is not the greatest on earth either um getting back to the topic um i don't foresee it happening that they're going to shut completely down i think they'll be bought out first but i think i know now i'm not i'm only speculating and i'm not saying this is the only thing um that contributes to their problems but you know, it is, it may be a factor. Um, I don't have the answers for it, and I'm not claiming to be the know-it-all. As I said, I only have a theory as to why maybe they struggled with uh, making money. Um, you know, Philip McKnight, you know, he said, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and paraphrase his video all night. Um, you know, his content is his. But, you know, it's like he said, you know, somebody will probably eventually buy him out before they shut down. So, um... My theory is, is that if, well, for one thing, it was a known fact that a lot of, you know, guitar centers had a lot of overhead. Um, they targeted a lot of people who were severely affected by the Great Recession of, uh, I guess it was 2008. Didn't have a lot of money. And um, people just didn't have the money to go to guitar centers and blow hundreds and thousands of dollars on guitars when you know work was so scarce for a lot of people and that was one of the factors but however you know yeah there's the internet has really caused things to streamline too you know i mean look at what's done to walmart and all those guys it's forced them to you know, rethink their strategies a little bit um but i think yeah the internet has really dinged um, guitar center for one reason if you go now this is as I said my theory not the final say not really an expert opinion of anything but if you go and you look at websites like Sweetwater you know they're on board with this now too they're not as lenient as some but still they're trying or if you go to I don't know, let's say, you know, American Music Supply or Zounds or somebody like that. Um, you look at how they, they sell guitars to people. Um, you, know, you can either pay for them up front, you can apply for a card, or they're doing something now where, you know, if you don't have the money up front, you can play now, pay later. Um, you pay a deposit. And after you pay that deposit, you know, they take out monthly payments. Once you set up a secure method of payment, such as PayPal or your credit card or, you know, your bank debit card, whatever. Something that they can take the payment out once a month. Once you secure that, you know, even guys with not so great credit uh, are able to get things from these websites. Uh, they were you know, able to get PA gear or, you know, DJ equipment, 
guitars, amps, whatever, um, Zounds and American Music Supply and, and Sweetwater would work with you on it. Uh, yeah, so they really helped out a lot, a lot of people. And maybe, you know, as I said, maybe some of these guys whose credit tanked during the recession times, some of these guys um, probably rebuilt a lot of their credit histories through these people. And that, you know, that may have happened. Um, but my guess is, is that, yeah, this is one of the things that's hurt Guitar Center because really there's only, you know, very few, to me, Guitar Center is becoming more like dated like Sears uh, when it comes to dealing with customers. Um, you know, customers' needs and wants change all the time. And if you want that product in that customer's hand, you know, I mean, there's only so much you can do, of course, but you got to be able to do what you can to um, get that product, particularly if, if it's something that people can do without for the time being. Um, you got to do what you can to try to make it possible for them to get. Um, you know, companies like Zounds really did very well with people uh, on getting uh, getting product into their hands. You know, people who only dreamed of once owning a Les Paul are now capable of it with 12 low monthly payments um, if they can swing it. Uh, but Guitar Center, not so much. Um, Guitar Center, you, I think you're down to three choices. You either pay in full or you got like two months in layaway to get it out or you can apply for one of their store credit cards or put it on one of your credit cards. And I'll tell you right now, getting a damn store credit card from Guitar Center was like yanking teeth. I had a credit score of 739. Okay? My, my credit score is pretty good. And I applied for a credit card with them. I had no, no outstanding balances whatsoever. You know, most of my debts were zero. Applied for a card, they still would not give me a card at a good credit score. And I, to this day, cannot explain why they turned me down. I've applied and applied and applied, and they turned me down every time. And they would just send a very vague letter from the, um, as to why it was turned down. They just, it was very, it was written very weird. Oh, don't go out of focus, you moron. Oh. All right, so anyway, um... But yeah, it was very vague information, and you know, I still this day I still don't know why they turned me down. It's not something I've investigated too much, but you know, still. But you know, the, these companies out here, like these online companies, they want to get product in your hands. They want to get it out to customers. You know, they understand that musicians have working budgets and that they're very, very stringent about. You know, I mean, musicians out there, you know, they can squeeze a nickel so tight the buffalo would fart. So, you know, they understand that some of these guys don't have that kind of money up front, so they make arrangements with them. Um, Guitar Center, no, they're not doing that. And I think that's what contributes to it. I mean, how many times have you seen a Les Paul that you wanted or, you know, some Ibanez, like a Destroyer or a you know, just whatever, Strat, whatever. <clears throat> how many times have you gone into the stores at Guitar Center had to walk out empty handed because you didn't have the money. I had to do it lots of times. Uh, and I could not, I couldn't negotiate deals with these people. And a lot of times when I was able to buy something from them, you know, I wound up paying a heck of a lot more than what I intended to because of all the back end warranties they want to throw on everything and, you know, aggravate you to death. So, you know, if Guitar Center, you know, you guys, might want to consider loosening up a little bit, loosening the screws a little bit on people because this is stuff people don't have to have and this is stuff that people did without when they were laid off and this is stuff that people, you know, now that it, it looks to, to me like things are going to start picking back up again, you know, we're not seeing it right away, but, you know, the economy is about ready to head into full throttle mode, uh, full throttle mode, mode again and we may see some really good pickup so it might be wise to make up for that lost time with your musicians and everything else by going in and uh, working out these deals with these guys. 
so anyway, well, it's late at night. I'm cold. I'm tired. <laughs> I kind of want to go to sleep. Uh, so, um, so if I look kind of baggy eyed, you know why? Now, of course, I never look good on camera anyway. But anyhow, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button. You're not going to get a lot of updates very often, but we do appreciate it when you do watch. And uh, you know, check out some of those sites. You know, if you're looking for a guitar, you have some spare money. Or, you know, you, you're going to get some fun money out of a, a tax refund this year. Go ahead and, uh, you know, check out some of the sites on Sweetwater and stuff like that. Or, or check out Zounds or, or American Music Supply. See what they say to you. Alright, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. It's been great seeing you all again. As I said, you know, comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button like to get a subscriber at some point in time I know when you only do videos once a month it, you know, it doesn't really make for a fun channel to visit but uh, I am thankful for the people who do watch my videos you know have them all two of you <laughs> no, I'm kidding I've had a few but anyway alright guys uh, wishing you a good night Scott 373 we are gone